So for the first method, once we're on VLC Media Player, we're going to head over to Tools and then click on Preferences. And then we're going to select All. And then we're going to scroll down until we see Video and we're going to expand it. And then we're going to head over to Output Modules. Click on it. And then you want to make sure that this says Automatic. Video Output Module Automatic. For the next method, we're going to head over to Tools and then click on Preferences. And then click on All on the bottom. And then we want to head over to Input slash Codex. Click on it. And then we're going to scroll down to the very bottom and then we're going to make file caching. So for example, my number here is 1000, I'm going to double it to 2000. But let's say on your computer, like the number is like 300, you want to double it to 600. So just double the number to whatever it says on your computer. And then click on save. Next, we're going to head over to tools, click on preferences, and then we're going to click on all. And then we're going to head over to input slash codex, you want to expand it. And then video codex should come up, you want to expand video codex. And then we're going to click on FFMPEG, click on it. Once we're on it, we're going to head over to hardware decoding, make sure that it's on automatic, and then you want to put the threads to two. Once you make it two threads, we're going to head over to X264, click on it. And then we're going to head over to number of reference frames, and we're going to make it three. And then click on save. Once you do all that, you want to close VLC media player, and then reopen it again, and everything should be good.